Okay, today is, or this is now, the Visual Tarot Part 7. And I'm experimenting a little bit with different camera positions because there's a, a, um, a window up there. I'm in the basement. There's a window up there and the light's coming in and it's quite strong daylight. Anyway, so this is Part 7. And today I want to make a suggestion and then I want to talk a little bit about the Fool card. Um, and I'll go to a screencast for that bit. So the suggestion is that um, I, I mentioned, I think, the last time about the importance of beginning at the beginning or beginning at a beginning when answering a question. And this is so that you talk about the person um, and what they're like right now so that you can give useful information about what to do next or how to how to approach dealing with a particular situation or a particular problem so with that in mind i i thought if you want to participate why why don't you pick a card at random as a significator for you right now and write out a few ideas about what it means or what it what it suggests or what it's telling you and email it to me and what I'll do is I'll comp compile and put together the contributions that people make um, and then I'll put it somewhere maybe a Google Doc uh, that you can look at and comment on and download or maybe put it on Evernote or put it on WriteNote, something like that, so that we can read what other people, the, the cards that they get and what the card tells them about them, let's say. And it could be that the significator tells you about you right now, or it, it refers to something that's on your mind at the moment, or it tells you about the way you're thinking, because you can be optimistic or pessimistic. You can be ready to try new things or you can want stability and security and not really want to get out of your comfort zone. So it's giving you, it, it may be telling you what's going on right now or what's been happening or what your attitude is going forward. And so I think it would be quite useful and interesting to see if you were to pick a card for you um, and then write a few lines or a few sentences about what it means to you or what you think it's saying. And then I can, we can put it somewhere and other people can read it and maybe they have comments um, that can add to or take away from what you've said. But it can also be that they would then have something to work with if that same card comes up for them or for in, in, in a reading that they do for somebody else. So we're sort of developing um, ideas about what cards are telling us or what the tarot is um, giving us, we could say. So that's my idea, my suggestion. So if you want to play along, um, pick a card, write something about it. It doesn't have to be perfect, just something. And sit, we'll take it from there and we'll see where it leads. And... Um, I'll let you know next time um, about where you can find the different contributions that people make. I'm not quite sure how I'll do this, but um, we'll figure something out. Okay, thanks for watching for this. And then we're going to go and look at a couple of simple points about the full card. Okay, so I'll see you in a couple of days. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, th this is a couple of little points about the full card and it began a couple of days ago I heard this expression um, it was in a video I was watching and I had never heard this before and it's Italian and it's salto there it is salto mortale and mortale is obviously mortal but salto is I guess it's a verb that means to fall so it, it's the, the person spoke about this Italian ex expression salto mortale and then he mentioned that Kurt Vonnegut said something about um, when you're falling off a cliff, you maybe you develop wings or grow wings on the way down. So 
obviously I thought of the the full card with the person stepping off the cliff and I'll get to that in a minute but I looked up salto mortale on Google and there isn't much here we've got there's a verb salto which means to leap and mortale is deadly so salto mortale is a dangerous and daring jump with possibly a lethal outcome so maybe it's reminding us about um, with the full card it, what what you're contemplating might be dangerous, it might be daring, and there are possibly lethal outcomes. So you can be full of enthusiasm if you're represented by the full card, but you should know that what you're doing might have consequences that you haven't really considered. If, if anybody out there speaks Italian, maybe Simone, um... We know him from before. Uh, there, there may be something. I was. I had expected more on Google about this expression, but there is, it really isn't that much. And then you've got a risky, dangerous, or crucial step or undertaking. And maybe that's more the point about with the full card. With most times that the full is going to come up, it's risky, but it's a crucial step. And it, it, it can be an indication that when the full comes up, it's important to do what it is that you want to do or to try what has been offered or presented to you. So that's something about Salto Mortale. The other thing is Kurt Vonnegut. And the quote is here, we have to continually be jumping off cliffs and developing our wings on the way down, which I think is really interesting for the full card. So let me, let me um, skip to right note here. So what I did was I added another um, section for the full over here and I've imported the, the full card. So we can see that the full is walking down and is about to step off the cliff. So I've got two notes for this, Salto Mortale and then Kurt Vonnegut. We have to continually be jumping off cliffs and developing our wings on the way down. So I made here a note that Kurt Vonnegut happens to be a Scorpio. So maybe we would be considering or adding to our armory or um our weapons that may, maybe this the the attitude that of having to continually be jumping off cliffs is the kind of thing that would appeal to a scorpio and maybe it's appropriate and suitable for certain signs of the zodiac more than others i'm not saying it is or it isn't but it's the kind of thing that we might want to consider and develop an understanding over a period of time to see if there's a correlation between this advice about con we need to be we have to be continually jumping off cliffs, whereas other signs of zodiac may not really want to do that, and that may not be part of their way of looking at life. Whereas Scorpio is a snake, a scorpion, and an eagle. And they cycle through these three types of behavior. The snake slithers along the ground and it, it knows its environment. The scorpion, which, which will, you know, um, do dangerous things and it really doesn't care. And then the ego, which sees from a distance and understands how things will develop and how they're going to unfold because of its vision and so on and it's separate from the earth it can fly and then the problem for Scorpio the difficulty is that they can't stay as the eagle which is the spiritual side let's say but they've got to come back to earth and be the snake again and they continually cycle through it and maybe that's why Kurt Vonnegut is saying we have to be continually jumping off cliffs there's no point in just being keeping an even being on an even keel and not taking chances and and being normal and being every day that if if we so it's not just um jumping off cliffs but also developing our wings on the way down so when you jump into a difficult or awkward situation it's so that you can develop wings so you can figure a way out of it you you don't jump off so that you fall to your death you jump off so that you 
maybe put yourself in an extreme situation where you're forced to develop wings and the wings can represent developing the ability to solve the problem or developing a facility or um, a technique or a tool that enables you to rise up or to escape or to turn a difficult situation into one that's more peaceful or more refined, let's say. Um, that was kind of it. A couple of things to think about with the full card. So I'm I'm thinking, I'm aware that maybe I go on for too long and the videos are too long. So I'm going to try a shorter one today. So that's it. And I'll talk to you in a couple of days. Okay, bye-bye.